Welcome to the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course. Today we're, this is the hardest obstacle course ever in Ultimate Frog history. Competitors will have a really difficult time finishing it. So before we get started, I'd like to give you a brief walkthrough of the entire course. The obstacle for today will be the hurdles. For the competitors cannot touch the yellow tape. If they do, they are out. They have no chances. They have one chance to get over, and if they don't get over on that first chance, they are out of the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course. The next obstacle is the floating swing. They'll have to go from swing to swing to swing, and they're not allowed to step on sand in between the yellow tape. So when they get out, they'll have to go from up the ladder, and then from step to step to step, without falling by the rock or the grass below. Then it's the monkey pole, an ultimate frog special obstacle that has never been seen before. The will have to go across it using just our hands. Next is the monkey bar, it protects the upper body strength and overall motor along with endurance. And then they'll have to go from step to step to a board where they can only use one foot. After that, they will have to go under this obstacle. the ultimate frog bean bag throwing competition. The competitors will have to get in five different bean bags in order to complete the obstacle. Once done that, they will pick up two bean things and follow along over here. Then they will take two bean things and place it down and have to jump over it. If not down, they are out. Next obstacle is this obstacle, where they'll have to climb up the ladder for around three times climb down this ladder one of Ultimate Frog's oldest obstacles, the stump, twice. After that, it's the hurdles again. Then the next obstacle is the floating swing for the second time. After that, it is the quintuple steps again. And then the monkey pulls again, and the monkey bars again. And after that, they will jump up and sprint all the way around here, over all the hurdles to where the old starting line was. White Rock, the one to finish your down of the course. And hope your time holds up and find out if you will be the next Ultimate Frog! Will the winner win? They will win this to prove that they have become the next Ultimate Frog. Second prize winner will receive second prize frog. And that's it here. So let's get started with our first competitor, Christian Zurek. So our first competitor today will be Christian Surrey, who last year unfortunately fell on the monkey bars for the second time. This year he's here to conquer this course and possibly become the next Ultimate Frog. So let's see what he's made of as we travel down to the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course to see how Christian Surrey will do. So here he is today, the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course. And now he is completing the first hurdle, the second hurdle. He's going on a good streak there and he's moving on to the next obstacle that's floating the swing. That would be a record there for the fastest time to get the hurdle. That would be good. Because the time is not starting. Skipping forward a little bit there. 
going to take a little bit long time as he is controlling. They all look like being back on top of the gym and moving on to two things. As he sits down, he's tight preparing to jump out. Oh my, that was an incredible, just one simple mistake and Christian Zaret is out of the ultimate frog obstacle race course. That course that just one more time. He was going good there. He put it down. Oh, and he's out. Just that simple. He looked like he was going good. He put it down, but lost control on the pipe, and he's out. But let's move on to our next competitor, Michaela Zaret. Last year, Michaela Zaret came in second place to James Burns. This year, she's hoping to become stronger. She's determined to be the next Ultimate Frog! And here she is at the Ultimate Frog up to race course, but the clock will not start until she touches the first hurdle. Now the clock is on. And she is going. Finishing the hurdles. Not as quick as Christian Torres, but still pretty good. And moving on. Next up, so the floating swing, which has taken out a lot of competitors last year. This is only the second time that this obstacle has appeared in all the Med Prize history. So she's kind of new to this, she's only attempted this once. And she did it pretty good. But no one, as you saw with Christian Zarek, could even make one small mistake because one small mistake and Christian Zarek was out. So, Michaela Surratt has to do a good job or else she just can be out just with one simple mistake. That's all it takes. And she goes on to the monkey pose there. Doing a good, okay job. We have two guys. She goes on way to the new one. Michaela Surratt, look at what she forgot there was a new one over there. Oh, and Michaela Surratt is out! Let's watch that one more time. Michaela Surratt! Whoa, just one simple mistake and she is out. But next competitor on the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course will be Jacob Burns. Who plays Tobacleton in the series Bad Luck Tobacleton and Tobacleton Bird Brain? So here he is in the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course. Jacob Burns going over the first hurdle there. Competing again. Oh, a little fall there. But it looks okay. He moves on. Jacob is an experienced actor. And who's the back of him? And bad luck to back of him. Also, his fellow actor, Michaela Surratt, who plays the back of his sister and other parts in the show, was also competing earlier today and failed on the new obstacle, the cinder, the cinder block over there. But it failed just on a simple mistake. Jacob better not make one of those simple mistakes, or he too is going out. But it's hard on this course with the pressure on and the crowd cheering in the background. It's really hard to keep concentrate there. So Jacob Barnes has to do a good landing now! And he slips back and he's out! Let's watch that in a quick replay there. It's a replay. Whoa, and he's out. That was. That was disappointing. Jacob Barnes out. And the last competitor of tonight will be James Burns. Last year's winner and the Mosey team's most skilled player. He has won games, Fluff Cheese Cups for the Mosey team single-handedly. But will he have what it takes to do the ultimate for a obstacle race course? Well, last year, yes, he did. Coming in first place with an impressive time. But does he have what it takes this time to be the next Ultimate Frog? Find out when Ultimate Frog returns. Welcome back to Ultimate Frog. We're finding out if James Burns has what it takes to complete this course. So here he is on this course. No one before him has ever completed this new and improved course. So there's a lot of expectations for him being last year's winner and all, and being one of the multi-team most experienced 
and MVP of the Molding Team every single year for a long time now. You will be able to have what it takes to complete this course. Approaching where Jacob Burns fell right up here. He had looked good. Oh, and that was good, but it looks like he hurt his hand. He's holding his hand there. He knows that all he has to do is just complete the course. He can take his time, and that is what he's doing. Because time is not important anymore. Because he has already guaranteed that he can take it no matter how slow. Even if he takes three days to complete this course, he's guaranteed to do it. Oh, second easily taking from the kills to left out, but now the new obstacle that only Christian has attempted before. Going under it, that's a real time waste, but time isn't important anymore for him, so he doesn't have to worry about those obstacles. He would have been out if he had touched that other obstacle, but luckily he didn't touch it. And this fourth obstacle is not important. Neither is the next obstacle, which is the ultimate for our beanbag toy competition. So he takes his first beanbag. This is not really an important obstacle anymore. He still needs to do it, but he didn't clear out his strength. And, wait, just standing around. Third beanbag to be tired for your arms, which arm strength is important for some of the later obstacles coming up. And Martin's coming to get. He came back. Looks like he's already got uh, two in here. So he's taking only three back. He brings in one. No, I can't tell if that went in or not. He's three. Oh, and a no, 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 no. Oh, and it went in. He's carrying only one bean bag back. He's got one bean bag to go. And he make it in. And he throws it. And oh, and it's in. And he's taking two bean bangs. Which Christian Surratt was disqualified on two bean. So he is thinking about that right now. If you just, if the first competitor of the day failed on this obstacle, he will have to be like extra focused on this if he's gonna win it. Because if he jumps over this, yeah, then he's done it! And he is guaranteed a spot! And he is guaranteed to be the next ultimate frog! But he's still going record. Could he be the first person to ever finish this course? We'll find out right now. And he goes down the ladder to the stumps for two times in a row. The stumps have been redesigned to be extra slippery, extra challenging. And he's doing them twice. The final time like this is one of all the frog's oldest obstacles. As he goes on to the hurdles again, but he cannot touch his yellow tape. And he knows that. He has to be extra careful, even if he just have your foot touch it accidentally, it still counts. And he goes on to the next up to go, oh, and his foot touches. I can't believe it. And he's out on such a, just a, such a spot. That was not a good spot to be out. Just another stupid mistake. Like everyone on this course so far, it's just been one small mistake over and over again. So first place is James Burns, who was disqualified at swing. Still an impressive run though. Second place, Christian Surratt, disqualified at two and three. Christian Surratt had to leave, had to leave early due to a basketball game. So he will not be able to receive his prize in the tournament celebration. In third place, Michaela Surratt, disqualified at the first jump. And fourth place, Jacob Burns, disqualified at the swing. So, as you see in this obstacle course, the ultimate frog obstacle course is not easy. These competitors, no one has ever completed this new version. So, you can be with us next time to find out who will become the next ultimate frog and find out if someone will actually be able to conquer this course. has been crowned the next Ultimate Frog with the Ultimate Frog Trophy. Jay Burns has become the next yeah, Ultimate as Frog. As today, he will be getting his prize at a later date. But congratulations to him to getting where he would. That was really an unlucky fall by Trippie Tanya. And an extra big congratulations to James Burns for coming in first place and becoming the next Ultimate Frog. So now, Christian Tourette will be getting this prize at a later date. And that's it for the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course. We'll be with us, us after the break for the Ultimate.
Open for us being paid. And Open for us being back during competition. Following up our latest episode of Bondsman Front Time Episode 2.